So you are watching the Tiger Sports Network brought to you by your Annalee Boosters. 140 remaining in this varsity game between your Annalee Tigers and the Prospectors of Piner. Tigers ball out of bounds. 27 seconds on the shot clock. Looks like they should be going. Chance or Mo have the missed badges on them. But Anthony's going to have to get it down to him. And dribbles it. Ooh, luckily dribbled it out of bounds off of the Piner player. But that's not the play you want to see Anthony doing there right there. No. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. 122 on the game. That's there you, you go. That's it. That's it. Right down to Chance. It's about last time all game. That's a travel. travel right there. There we go. 110 remaining in this game. 45 45. Crowd's getting into it now. Key is to make sure you maintain your poise and heads up. Get that ball in. There it is, the chance. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Work it around, gentlemen. 104 on the clock, 29 on the shot. shot. Mismatch here for Grant if he wants to take him off the dribble. Oh, now big mismatch go. switch. Chance off go. the glass it in. Tiger lead. 50 First seconds remaining. First time, second half that they've led the game. You need a great stop here. Good help defense. Don't. Big bucket by number 21 as Edlu puts it up. Well, this could be the last shot of the game. Shot clock is off. You have 30 seconds. Control it. Get it over. Call we'll a timeout. Take a timeout right here. Here it is. Barely got it before Cervantes comes in on the ball. 24.9 seconds on the game clock. Score 47 47. Tigers are at home. Would love to get this victory. What are they going to do here, coach, with 20 something seconds left? Same thing they've done for the last two possessions. Find the mismatch, get the ball inside, high percentage shots to either Chance or uh, one of the other guys that has a mismatch. Could be Theo, could be uh, Grant, but one of those guys has got a mismatch on him to get him on the block. And, and we've seen our heights coming into play here at the very end of this game. Chance had a couple nice little turnaround. Jump shots off a of glass, nice and easy. They're not going to be able to challenge that shot because of his height and his wingspan. Just got to get the good entry pass to get it there. And the last thing is, is that they got to never assume that the ball's going down and finish it off with it, even if it means an offensive rebound, keep battling on the boards all the way to the end. So we're waiting for this timeout to be over. Theo, Anthony, Mo, Grant, and Chance are out on the floor for the Tigers. They will decide the Tigers' fate. 24.9 seconds on the clock. Page has probably got a good Gets last the second field. shot, so we won't want to take the take it too soon. Don't give the prospects this time to Watch the counter it. The corner gets it out the field. Twelve seconds left on the clock. Here we go. This should do it right here. Theo's driving. Goes all the way up and off. Right back up. Mo put it back in. in. Two seconds. No timeout called. Is this game over? They, no. They called it. They got it. They'll set it up here. They how got much, it. How Can't much time, it. though? Those players did not res you know, respond automatically. He's got it. Dan Galvin makes the call. 2.4 experience official like that. Looked up as soon as the shot went down and looked for the first kid to call it. Boo, Dan. Boo. Why were you looking at that? Let it run out. So 2.4 seconds will be put up on the clock. Tigers 49. Prospectors 47. What an ending, coach. What are we doing here? The sad thing is that you got a two-point lead, so you, you have to watch out for those wild three shots because you do not want to end it with a put-up here from a three-point line. Are you going to put somebody on to um, you know, defend the out-of-bound throw? Is that a great thing where you put chance on the ball? to make it so they can't have the clean look? What are they doing here? There's two different philosophies in this, and I've been in situations both ways. I had a great one here many years ago when Robert Johnson, we were playing Miramonte. They didn't put anybody on the ball. We three-quarter length pass, caught it at the elbow, 
Johnson made the final shot. So Dan's emptied, and it was just a wonderful opportunity. But we couldn't have done it without somebody, you know, uh, giving them the inbounder a good open look. My prediction is, is that they'll put one back for safety and make sure that they earn it. You want to get them to receive the ball as far in the backcourt as possible so they don't have time. They basically have time for a one dribble and then a shot. So Mo, Anthony, Chance, Theo, and Grant are out there defensively. Mo is guarding the ball. Cervantes, one of the smaller players, is actually there, but I think the coach just wanted to see how the Tigers were going to defend, defend that. Yep. Called his timeout. Now he's going to reset this. Yeah, nothing more like a couple more exciting seconds here to kind of build in the flavor, get the crowd going even louder. Tigers 49, Piner 47. What a great game tonight here on the Tiger Sports Network. That's everything we expected. Woo! So keep the fans coming back for more. As you can see, the crowd is amped up and living it right now. A nice turnout here for this third game between two undefeated league opponents. Both the Tigers and the Prospectors are 2-0 early on in league play. Tigers looking to come out of this 3-0. Again, Cervantes will be your inbounder for the Prospectors. Mo is the defender. You have Grant, Chance, Anthony, and Theo out on the floor. Big, long body on the inbound pass should make it much more difficult to get to. He can run, run the, the baseline. Here he goes the shot. 21. One dribble. Up. up in the air, too long, too wide, too far to the side. Tigers victory, 49-47. Your Annalee Tigers take this game. Woo, doggy. Just what we liked.